What's going on, family? Welcome to Clay Time. Today, we're going to talk about, finally, Disney and Map. How do they go together? Let's, let's find out together. Let's get to it. Come in. And I'll show you everything you need to know. Welcome to Claytime in Basement Podcast Show, a show like no other. Wild over-the-top opinions from an angry, cigar-smoking, living in the basement of a house he pays on, road comic father who is technically married and understandably frustrated. Here he is, Clay Miles. What's going on, family? How y'all doing? Thank you for coming out to Claytime in the Basement. We gotta get some, uh... Admin stuff out of the way. As you can see, I have my show this Saturday night with Angel Salazar. Come on out. Also, I want you guys to like. If you're here, here right now, like, share, tell your friends about it. Tell you, call your friends up. Tell them this stupid motherfucker's on the air again. So this show on Saturday night is in uh, 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 blah, 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 is in uh, Staten Island. So Staten Island stand up. Come on out. I appreciate it. The next one is going to be in uh, Skip Pack, PA. Somebody had to tell me what that is. Skip Pack, Skip Pack. And that's going to be on April 20th. Oh, that's a Friday, next Friday, 8 p.m. Come on, see the show. J.J. Ramirez is going to be on the show. It's going to be a great show. Guys, a hilarious comic. Then the next show for the local people. Local people, come on out. Andrew Wu put this together. Really, really funny comic. As you can see, I'm on the show. Now, it's a showcase, so it's all funny comics. All funny. They just put the ugliest one to the left and made it a bigger picture because he wanted to make let you know that motherfucker, if he's not funny, he's going to be fucking ugly. So it doesn't matter. Ugly people are funny, too. Fuck you. So, what's up, Dennis? What's up, man? Dennis! Thanks for coming out, Dennis. Appreciate it, man. What's up? Speaking of ugly, <laughs> oh my goodness, let's get to the whiteboard, what's going on on the whiteboard, whiteboard love, all right, if living in a basement is the answer, what the fuck was the question, oh my goodness, that one actually hurt me to my heart a little bit, that one just hurt me to my heart. What's going on, family? I'm kind of hyped today because, uh, first off, I got my uh, my milkshake. Ah, and it's good. Don't worry, I won't drink that in front of you. I don't want you to, you know, that, that's some of, the, that's some of the, the things that we get in the basement here, some milkshake. And I don't want to make you feel, I know you're already, you know, wishing you were me because uh, <laughs> I'm living in a basement and you're not. I know, I know. It's okay, though. But we're going to get right into it, because I missed this yesterday. I am so sorry, family, that I missed this. I was playing around with y'all so much that I forgot to talk about Disney and Mep. Now, I'm going to explain to you this, but I'm going to play this for you. And the fucked up thing about it is you're going to hear a little girl in the background. Now, she's like my daughter. She lives here. She's like two years old, and she lives here. And I didn't know while I was recording it that you could actually hear her in the background. You're going to hear her in the back. This ain't some this ain't a part of it or anything. But fuck it. That's what What's up Terry? What's going on? But you guys are going to hear her in the background. Don't say egg. Hey, I fucked up a little bit. Either way. Huge drug bust involving some 500 pounds of meth. The drugs were hidden inside Disney characters. Channel 2's investigative reporter Mark Winnie is live in our newsroom with what he's learned in just the past few minutes. Mark? Yeah, we just found... Hold on a sec. Now, as you can see, the, the, the sound is totally off, but it's I think it it's kind of goes together. They're talking about Disney and meth together, and you can hear the little girl in the back. Baby, where are you? Here I am, here I am. Yeah, and then look at this motherfucker. I mean, this motherfucker looks dead. I mean, he looks like he was on the meth. He ain't no fucking reporter. He's somebody you pulled off the side of the goddamn street. Look, that's a mugshot for your ass. That motherfucker's perfect. Like, look, I walk around all day, and I look like I was arrested. I mean, seriously, if I was a cop, I'd arrest him off a of GP. Just because you should be in jail. I'm saying. You, you, you had to do something. You killed somebody's whole fucking family. <laughs> meth mouth. 
<laughs> he got meth mouth. Yeah, he does look like he's on the map, though. He looked like he done did it. found out about this in the last hour. DEA says this is one of the biggest meth loads here ever, but the shocker is how the stuff was hidden. Here we go. Murphy, the special agent in charge of DEA here, says the figurines are shaped like Disney characters, but there is nothing family-oriented about them, except they are made of the kind of stuff that destroys family. 500 pounds of crystallized methamphetamine, a pure form of meth. He says the investigation involves... What the fuck do you do if you had bought one of those things for your kids? You bought something for your kid thinking it's wholesome, not realizing it's meth! And you're wondering why your daughter's all fucked up! You know what I mean? She's probably singing the same song as my little girl is singing in the background. <laughs> I swear to God, you know, I mean, part of me, and this is the fucked up thing about me, part of me hopes it happens, not that, that, that any of my kids get it, but we find out about it, and I can sue the fucking world. You know what I mean? I am suing the world. I mean, literally. Literally. I want God. I want God down there in the court. Okay? Because he's getting it. Because what, what's going on? This is not what I signed up for. Cooperation between DEA, the U.S. Ooh. Attorney's Office, Homeland Security Investigations, and the Gwinnett County Metro Drug Task Force. Can he still hear her? He says the meth was concealed inside 500 wax Disney figurines. Meth. Pluto, Winnie the Pooh, Piglet, Donald Duck, Daisy Duck, and more. Daisy Duck? Daisy's on meth. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. She ain't never, she ain't never fucked Donald. I'm just saying, Donald Duck was a cool motherfucker. You had to be on something not to fuck Donald. I'm just saying. For Atlanta, and the investigation is ongoing. That a lot of money was spent creating them and transporting them, obviously, by a major organization. He says another load included... Yeah, I know the organization. It's called Disney, motherfucker. Disney. Disney's the major organization. <laughs> Those standards are so fake. Yeah, yeah, exactly. They, didn't look, they don't even look like Disney. I mean, but the fact that they went ahead and went the extra mile to try to go ahead and do it, I hope they get sued by Disney, too. I hope, I hope everybody just sues their ass, period. Fuck it. I'm just stupid. All right, here's one. You're going to want this. Now, this one, this one is, blows me away. Now, this next one, this kid, he has, is a genius. He has, he's a genius to me. The reason why is because he was not allowed to bring, he was taking a test, and he wasn't supposed to bring anything in a test. Okay, they didn't want you to bring your phone, mainly because, you know, they didn't want you, oh, you didn't see what the answers are. Of course, makes sense. Also, they just didn't want any, they didn't want you to bring in any, people were going to bring their phones so they can listen to music. Let's be honest. So they can listen to music. What the fuck are you talking about? Disney's an evil empire. <laughs> of course they are. Now, this motherfucker brought in, can you see it? Two, now, one turntable, no microphone. That motherfucker brought in an old school, play a re play, brought in a record, and played music off of the record. This motherfucker's brilliant. And the teacher had to take a picture of it. She's like, this is just fucking brilliant. I mean, literally. I, I, can I, I told him not to bring his phone in. He wanted to listen to music. I told him to figure it out. He did. Understand, people like him are the people who create Facebook. Let's be honest. That motherfucker's smart. I wish I could go ahead and zoom in and let you... That is an actual little kid, uh, what do you call it? turntable, you know, that motherfucker. And then he had the nerve to have Kanye West. He was playing old school Kanye West when he was good. Pre-Kardashians. Pre, pre <laughs> when he was actually black. I'm just saying. He finally made it back. Hey, hey, make a leg. Mega Leg, how you doing? Thank you for coming out, Mega Leg. I appreciate it. Oh, uh, we just getting into it, Mega Leg. You good? You good? But yeah. So anyway, let let let's let's move on. So anyway, what's up, world? Mega Leg, Mega Leg. You guys, it's still a mess. It's still a fucking mess. It's this is still here. It's smacking kids. Get the motherfucker. Shut up! <laughs> I can't help it. I can't help it. <laughs> Family. Mega Leg, thank you for coming out, Mega Leg. What's this 666 appears on the Walt Disney signature? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Walt Disney from hell. All right, this next one is uh, close to my heart.
this is a this is a white woman who decided that uh she won't be white anymore. Whoa, whoa, whoa. you want to make ten bucks? What's going on? <laughs> I've been watching them late. What? Oh, you've been watching them late? Okay. Yay for Mega Leg! <laughs> No, so this, this this next one, this 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 lovely young lady, she decided she wanted to be black. So let me show you. This is her in the beginning. This is how it starts. This is how it starts, family. Look at the tits on the motherfucker. The don't. The tits don't even fit the body. Okay, not even close. <laughs> Give me some tits. <laughs> Oh, all right, Terry, I got you. So this is what she looked like beforehand. What does she look like now, family? That, that, that. Are you kidding me? Yes, that's what she looked like. I, look, even, even even the clay person on the screen had to get closer. Huh? What? What? That's her. Do you believe that? What the fuck is wrong with people? What she did was she got some kind of dye and and, and and she was she was like, I'm gonna get a tan. And then when she got the tan, she got so dark, she was like, I could pass for a black. She literally got baptized black. That's her getting baptized. And the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit. And I declare Spirit. the fire of the Holy Spirit will be upon your life today. I have anointed you with oil. Did you anoint her black? Because she ain't black. I'm just being honest with y'all. You are not black. What, what's going on? What are y'all selling here? $10 for what? What the fuck is going on in clay time? Is this some shit that I need to know about? Because if anybody's giving out money, the tip jar's up there, motherfucker. <laughs> you ain't getting no fucking money in my fucking shit. Fuck that. At least I get a percentage. Ain't, you you hell ain't selling shit. I declare the power of God is going to be upon your life. You're going to preach with power, with authority. You're going to resist the devil. This is bullshit. How did she resist the devil? God made you white and you decided you were black. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I understand if you want to become a man or whatever. whatever. There's a man living inside you and blah, 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 blah. But God, you're right. there's nothing wrong with being a color. Just be who you are. What the fuck? Oh, Carol, what's up? That don't make no sense. No, it don't. It don't make no damn sense. You're going to be a good witness. You're going What's she going to witness? What she forgot? Well, you can't talk for God. God's like, who are you? Who are you? Okay, Michael Jackson's up in heaven going, I understand. I mean, when Michael Jackson understands, you got a problem is all I'm saying. Calvin, what's up? Yeah, see, I was going to tell that joke, but that honestly, that, that has been told before. Of course, Calvin went there. I didn't say it. It's too easy of a joke. I wasn't going to go there. <laughs> oh, and she ain't really black because she ain't got no ass. I'm just being honest with y'all, okay? she need, If she's going to do it, go all out. That's all I'm saying. I have the nerve to put weave in her head and shit. Family, what is up with the world? What is going on? <laughs> oh, fucking Calvin. Calvin, my old Marine Sergeant's here. What's up, baby? Oh, my God. I don't even know what this next one is. Let's just, just, let's just jump into the shit. I don't even know. How much time we got? We still got time? Fuck it, we got time. Do you believe that oh, Brown oh, versus Board of Education? Wait a minute, wait a minute. Okay, I don't know whether y'all have seen this. Okay, all right. This right here is the woman, um, you, and, and, you know, I just think this is hilarious. Well, I guess I ain't black. <laughs> I guess I ain't black. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, now we're talking to each other. Calvin says hello, Meg Leg. Hold on, let me let Calvin want to say what's up. What's up, Meg? <laughs> All right, this one right here, this lovely uh, lady. She is she is going through the whole process to become um, a actual you know judge and um, and this is a uh, this is her judicial uh, Trump's judicial pick. Now what they're getting ready to ask her, as you can read the thing down below, is about Brown versus uh, the Board of Education. 
Okay. In other words, segregation. Okay, whatever in schools. Now, let me let me let, let you listen to her reaction. I know you guys saw this, but I just think this is hilarious. Do you believe that Brown versus Board of Education was correctly decided? Bam! I'm sorry. I don't even need to play anymore. She paused. Excuse me. You're on CNN, bitch. You're in front of the world. Okay, lie. What is wrong with you? What are you pausing about? You, that's the one you jump on. Bam. You know what I mean? You say, yes. You know, yes. What's the next question, Alice Trebek? I mean, you don't. What are you waiting on? You're already wrong. What are you contemplating? The fact that you're contemplating is hilarious to me. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> all right, all right. Senator, I don't mean to be coy, but I think I get into a, a difficult, um, a different, difficult area when I. What, what? There's too many words there. Yes or no? I mean, of course, of course, she don't believe in it. You're everybody. She don't believe in segregation. Just so you know, it's 2000. 18 and she can't that is a softball question have you guys ever seen anybody strike out in softball or kickball even worse this is her striking out it's a it's it's literally a kickball question and you're you're swinging and missing in front of the world i'm I don't, listen to me, all I'm saying is, I don't care if you're racist, I don't care if you're racist, but right here, this is common sense, you don't tell people you're racist, you don't, I don't think we should merge the, the races at all, we should just, we're all the same, you mother, okay, all right, all right, all right. Commenting on Supreme Court decisions, which are correctly decided, and which I may disagree with. Again, my... I may disagree with. See, I know half y'all are saying no, because she said correctly, you know, whatever. But she said that I may disagree with. Does it... Just, are you... Okay. ...political or religious views, I would set aside. That is Supreme Court precedent. It is binding. If I were honored to be confirmed, I would be bound by it. And, of course, I would uphold it. But you don't believe upholding that you don't believe in what i'm sorry and 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 i'm gonna stand in front of you and think i'm gonna get a fair trial <laughs> and you don't think i'm good enough to go to school with your kids yeah yeah okay i'm gonna get a fair trial are you kidding me do you Lies. believe it was correctly decided and again i will respectfully um not comment on what could be my boss <laughs> what could be <laughs> family you gotta laugh at this stuff okay you don't ever take this shit seriously if i know a lot of times everybody watches this stuff and they're like what the fuck you gotta laugh you gotta i laugh all day long i watch this shit all day long at work i laugh my ass off because this is not reality this is not who we are as, as americans it's funny it's not it's not all of us. It's only like a 5%. And, they, and, and the thing about it is it just makes so much entertainment that we all got to watch it. But, but laugh. Do not get mad. Oh, this is bull. Laugh. Laugh. Laugh so you don't cry, motherfucker. Because <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> Woo! Anyway, thank you guys for coming out. I do appreciate it. Like I said before, like, share, tell your friends about the shit. Um, also, there's a tip jar. Hook me up. Thank you, people who have been hooking me up. Mega Leg, thank you a lot uh, for everything. Oh, and keep on sending me stuff. Janera just sent me something. I'm going to try to get that in tomorrow. Hopefully, I'll be able to get that in tomorrow, Janera. I really do appreciate it. Uh, and also, let me go ahead and hit this up again. I got my show this weekend on Saturday. Come on out. This Saturday with uh, Angel Salazar. And then my show on the 20th next week on Friday with uh, J.J. Ramirez. Come on out. And then... This show, locally, it's in D.C., come on out. Uh, everybody's going to be there. It's going to be a big showcase. Also, I'm going to tell you guys something. I'm actually going to uh, start recording these shows and putting them out as podcasts. Somebody came to me and, and, and wants me to go ahead and uh, do all these as, as podcasts. I said, fuck it. Let's do it. Whatever. We can get the message out there. Let's get the ignorance out there because we got to laugh. We got to look at this shit and just say, fuck the world. This ain't me, and this ain't the rest of us. It's that small percentage. We're going to laugh at them because that's how we live. That's how we're going to get along. 
I love you guys, and I will talk to you later. Hopefully, I'll see you tomorrow. Out. So now it's time to put out your cigars, walk back in your homes, put those destructive opinions back in your emotional lockboxes, and put your politically correct mask back on. Plausible denial is recommended, and good alibis are suggested. If called upon to testify in a confessional hearing, I don't know you, and you don't know me. If walking those fine lines appeals to you, find him on Twitter, at Clay T Basement, and Facebook page, the Late Time in Basement Podcast Show. Thanks for listening, go take a bath, you need to wash this off.